Hey guys, yes, it is Sam. In today's video, we are taking a hands-on look at OXO 2 for iPad, and it is absolutely awesome. As you know, about two or three weeks ago, I reviewed OXO 2 for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and I was completely blown away. I could never, ever go back to the stock iOS app switcher ever again after using OXO 2 for just a couple of hours even a couple of minutes, I was just completely blown away because of how well made of a tweak it is. And now today, on April 17th, 2014, OXO 2 has been updated in the Big Boss repo to version 1.1, which contains full iPad support. That means portrait, landscape. OXO 2 now has been made from the ground up for iPad. And like I said, it is absolutely awesome. I'm going to do a quick demo of all three features that we saw on the iPhone, and really OXO 2 for iPad is just a blown up version of the OXO 2 for iPhone and iPad Touch, which I'm not saying is bad in any way, shape, or form. I was getting very bored with the app switcher on my iPad after I used OXO 2 for iPhone and iPod Touch just a few weeks ago, and I was just waiting and waiting for this 1.1 update, which they had said would contain iPad support, and A3 Tweaks held true to the word today. Like I said, they updated it for iPad, and it looks awesome. You can swipe up from the middle of your screen to enable the quick apps, or not the quick app switcher, but the regular app switcher. Swiping left and right will just now allow you to navigate your apps, just like on the stock iOS app switcher. And if we swipe up on our home card, yes, we can close all apps at once with that absolutely stunning animation that I actually covered in another video, which will be linked down in the description below. Also, we have hot corners on the iPad, which is absolutely awesome as well. I cannot say just how absolutely blown away I am with this tweak. If we go in the bottom left of our iPad screen, we can swipe up and go from, let's say, browsing the internet to maybe watching a YouTube video and then maybe downloading an app from the iOS app store just within seconds. And if we don't wanna use our home button, if our, maybe our home button broke, if it's not working right, or we just don't ever wanna touch it for the rest of our jailbroken iPad's existence, we can simply have OXO2 installed and swipe up from the bottom right of your screen. And there we go, we get another very nice looking animation. And just like that, we are back on our home screen with one simple swipe up gesture, eliminating the use of our home button ever again. So guys, this is my hands-on look at version 1.1 of OXO2 containing full native iPad support. If you want to get it right now, if you've already purchased OXO2 or just want to buy OXO2 for the very first time, I would definitely recommend doing so by launching Cydia, heading over to the search section, and of course, typing in OXO2, where then you can buy it for $3.99 if you are a new user or if you've already bought it in the past, it is available for you right at this very moment as a free update which is really cool that we don't have to pay for it once again like we had to do for the original OXO if we wanted to buy the iPad version, we had to pay again. However, like I said, this update is free, which is great. If you guys enjoyed watching the video and you feel like being awesome, you can click the like button down below. And if you wanna see more iOS 7 jailbreak tweak coverage, as always, feel free to subscribe to my channel down below as well. That would be very, very much appreciated. So once again, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I hope it was very informative and I will see you guys in my next one.